Understanding Reverse Mergers, A Simple Guide. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English Learning Channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating financial term, reverse mergers. This concept might sound complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together in a way that's easy to understand. So, let's dive in. A reverse merger is a unique way for a private company to become publicly traded without going through the traditional initial public offering IPO, process. Instead, the private company merges with a company that's already public. This public entity is often a shell company, meaning it exists mainly on paper and has no active business operations. In this section, we'll explore the steps involved in a reverse merger. First, the private company identifies a suitable public shell company. Then, they negotiate an agreement where the private company merges into the public one. After the merger, the shareholders of the private company receive a majority of the shares in the new, combined entity. Essentially, the private company becomes public through the back door. Reverse mergers have some distinct advantages. They are often faster and less expensive than an IPO. Also, they can provide easier access to capital markets and increased visibility for the company. However, it's important to note that they also come with risks, such as less regulatory scrutiny compared to traditional IPOs. Let's look at some real-world examples of reverse mergers. Companies like Texas Instruments and Berkshire Hathaway initially became public through reverse mergers. These examples help us understand how reverse mergers can be a strategic move for some companies. And that's a wrap on reverse mergers. I hope this video has shed light on this interesting financial concept and made it more accessible for you. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more. Remember, learning English can be fun, especially when we explore diverse topics together. Until next time, happy learning!